Before this tutorial starts, I just want to say that it would really mean a lot to me if you could follow my new Twitter profile. My ad is MeCryVFX and you will also find a link in the description. Thanks. Hey guys and welcome to this brand new video on my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how to create this insane 3D Fortnite intro for your next highlight video or for your next montage. So first of all you need Blender, it's a free software, you can download it in the internet, just search for it. And you also need 3D Blender models. In the description you will find a really good Blender model pack. And if you press on the link in the description it will look something like this. Just press on Fortnite characters and then just search for a character model that you'd like to use and in my case I want to use Moogle Master Deutschland because that's the skin that I'm currently playing with so just right click on it and press on down save it wherever you want yeah now you want to go back to the Google Drive go back to Fortnite and go to Fortnite animation and then go to blender emotes and now you can search for a specific emote that you want to use. And I want to use the mic drop emote. Then just download the PSA. And also save this wherever you want. Then go to the destination where you saved it and extract it. And now you need an add-on for a Blender. It will be linked in the description. And just press on code and press on download the zip. Also save it and then extract it and after that type in your taskbar percent app data percent click on blender foundation blender then go to your current version scripts add-ons and now just drag one of the Java scripts that we downloaded before in here if you have blender 2.8 or higher then use the 281 and if you have a version that's below a 1.8 then use the 171. In my case I have Blender 2.9 or something so I'll just drag in 280. And yeah after that go back to Blender and yeah then go to Edit, Preference, uh, Add-ons and search for PSA and then just check it. And now it should pop up in this bar right here. Check rotation only and uncheck don't invert root bone. Oh yeah, first of all select your character, then go to import PSA and go to the destination where you saved your PSA. And then double click on the CMM PSA. And yeah, now you should have this animation. Now all we need is a microphone and I will provide a link to a Google Drive with a microphone in case you want to do it with the same emote. And once you downloaded the model for the uh, microphone, click on File, Append, and then navigate to the destination where you saved it. And double click on it, Object, and select, actually just select those th three. Click on them by pressing Shift, and then press on Append. And now make sure to select all three parts of the microphone, right click, Parent, and Object. And now if you move it, the entire thing will move. And then go to uh, Add Object Constraints, click on Child Off, uh, select the uh, model of your skin with the .ao in the end, and search for Hand underscore R, and then Set Inverse. And now the microphone should already be in his hands. One problem is that we have the microphone right here as well. So to solve this, go one frame before he drops the mic, keyframe the influence and also select everything right here. Press on I, location, rotation and then go one frame ahead and, and set the influence to zero and make sure to, that you have this blue dot right here selected. And now you need to reposition the microphone, but that's fine. And now just go a few frames ahead. Basically drag the microphone down till it hits the bottom. And then select the keyframes. Right click. And go to interpolation mode. And select Bezier. And do the same thing in the beginning because 
Uh, right now he isn't supposed to hold the microphone, so go to maybe this point, keyframe uh, the influence and press on I again and press location rotation. Go one point backwards and set the this to zero and just drag this up. Now that we have our animation, we need a camera. So just make sure you're in object mode, press on add and select camera. You can scale the camera up if your model is too big. Just drag this back a little bit and you can also you can always click on this camera icon to see what the camera sees. Just position it in front of the character so that camera catches that entire animation. And also try to center your character. So let's add some text by pressing on add text. And now it will appear here, also scale it up. Press on tab, delete this and write whatever you want, I will just write highlights. Uh, then go back to object mode, select it, go to the uh, rotation tool, uh, make it like this, and then go to the font panel right here, and go to font, and select the th font that you wanna use. Then you just wanna position the font behind the character and scale it up by pressing S and moving it and also try to center it. Now go back to the text panel in the lower right corner and go to geometry and scale up extrude and also uh, rotate this so that it looks nice. And then go to the beginning, select the text and here go to paragraph right here and press this dot for uh, the character spacing and put this to something around 2, I will go with 1.9, and then reposition it so that the G is behind your character. Then go a few frames in, maybe like this, and turn this back to 1, and also reposition it behind the character. Now you have this animation. Right, and you also want to ease it, so right click on it, easing mode and ease in. And you can adjust the keyframes, of course. Now we need to add some light, so just go to object mode, add light and select point light and position it behind the character. Now in the upper right corner, go to the right panel and if your character is as big as mine, then just scale this up. So just put this to maybe three. And one thing that I forgot to mention in the beginning is go to this thing right here and go down to film. Make sure that it isn't transparent. And you also need to make sure that if you go to shading and select word right here, that there's nothing. So if you have these panels, just select them and delete them. You can also add a spotlight. I really like to do this. But yeah, when it comes to lighting, I'm really not an expert and I think it really comes down to personal preference. So just experiment a bit or watch some tutorials on YouTube. And yeah, I also don't want to go into too much detail in this tutorial. But yeah, now there are only a few last touches left. Go to Edit, Preferences, go to System and activate CUDA. Then go, go right here, uh, select Cycles and GPU Compute. Then for Render, just put this to a non number between two or 3000. And then go to Denoising, Render and select Optics. Then go to Output Properties. Then make sure it's full HD. Also put this to the frame where the animation ends. So it's right here. I will just put this to 150. And then select PNG. And go also go to the folder icon right here and select a folder where you want to save your animation. Then select 16 for the color depth and uh, put the compression to 0%. And after that you can press on render and render animation. 
and just be aware that this progress will probably take hours and once you have your entire animation exported go to your editing software so for me this is Premiere Pro just go to a new project press on import media import and then go to the uh, location where you save the animation then press on one image and make sure that image sequence is selected then press on open and because my project properties are set to 60 fps just left click on this press on ctrl r and put this to 50 or maybe even 40 percent now go to effects and now we can add some effects search for bcc Composite dissolve drag this on and then also search for unmult and put the tolerance to 100 in the beginning then go to the point where you want your uh, transition to end and put it to zero and do the same thing for the end just keyframe it to zero and then go to the very end and keyframe it to 100 and yeah now we're done with this quite long tutorial i hope you could learn something from me if i could then please consider to subscribe to this youtube channel and maybe even to my twitter profile also don't forget to like the video and write a comment with that being said, I really wish you all a great day. See you on the next one.